17-year-old Nate Foster fantasizes about becoming a Broadway star. However, he struggles to even get roles in his high school play. When Nate's parents leave for the weekend, he and his friends decide to make Nate a star. This is Better Nate Than Never on the Cross Border Interviews Night of the Movies. Bro, it's like 7 a.m. Today's the day, Ma. They're posting the cast list for the school play today. Get it? Like it's a curtain? Tough crowd. You can do it. I've got some breaking news. It's an open audition. They're making Lilo and Stitch a Broadway musical. Where would we even sleep? What about your aunt? The Broadway actress. You are the only toddler whose first word was me. Let's cast a musical. Does anyone have a special skill they'd like to demonstrate? I can do fiddler on the roof style knee crawls. This I have to see. Mazel tov! <gasps> oh my gosh, my pants. Does anybody have any extra shorts? <clears throat> I'll make you proud of me. Okay, I Nate. Swear. That's all we're gonna need. Forget New York. I'm just trying to survive seventh grade. I'm working hard. I love that you're still I'm acting. You remind me of, like, me. You're literally all I want to be when I grow up. Three weeks on Broadway, an apartment in New York. Queens, but... I'm about to go out. You're a hundred times funnier and quicker than I am. Don't you look like the kid that went viral on TikTok? I didn't know you could do all that. Find your light. You're insane. I'm theatrical. Hold up just a second. Sorry, I thought we were alone. You guys are so weird. We know. I'm about to go out. Just getting started, we about to go Mr. Michael Nichols Payne, uh, better Nate than ever. Uh, I did not know about this movie until you told me about it, so I'm very happy that we can talk about this on the show. What are your thoughts on the movie? I'll let you go first, and then I'll jump in afterwards. Oh, you mean the true life documentary of me as a child? I wasn't going to say it. You did. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. I watched this. I turned to my husband about halfway through, and I go, you know that was me as a kid, right? He goes, yes. As a kid, that's you now. That's also me now. Um, I loved it for what it was. It was a fun movie. I got to feel all the feels and it was definitely, you know, reliving a lot of my childhood, like theater experiences. I never ran away to the city to go be on Broadway. Um, I did not. I would, I would have loved to. There were many times where I had friends and family that were like, you should go audition for something in the city. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I'm needed in upstate New York. I was a vain little child. I was problematic. I'm very aware. So you were Nate. You were problematic. I <laughs> was very much Nate. Like I said, this is me as a child. Problematic and all. Um, I like the casting. I did love that moment where the best friend was like, I love you. And he's like, you know, I don't like, you know, like that. And I'm like, oh. And then the woman on the bus was like, baby, I've been there. I'm like, I am I'll tell you on the way seen. home. <laughs> I'm seen, fully seen. I enjoyed it so much. I liked it. What can I say? Um, okay. Now not to burst your bubble. <laughs> you didn't like it. It's not that I didn't like it. Um, I didn't like him. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I could tell that it was not his voice. <laughs> no, I thought it was his, I think it is his voice. I think it was just well, bad lip syncing. Yeah, that it's really bad lip syncing. <laughs> because I was like, this is not him singing right now. I don't know who's singing, but it's not him singing. Like when he was at the end of the movie, when he's doing his final performance, you're like, okay, that's him. And then they cut and they do a whole new one. Like, mm. And that was the unrealistic part for me. And I, I, trust me, let me tell you right now, I've never been on a Broadway stage. I would never audition for a show. I did three shows as a high school student. And during my grade seven year where I was the uh, 
values, influence, peer pressure, father who found drugs in his child's uh, 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 room. And I had to uh, 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 talk to my child. And then I was supposed to pick up the phone and dial my wife who was on the other line. But I picked up the phone and I accidentally broke the phone as I picked it up because it smashed in my hands because I picked it up so forcefully. So oh, she I, was in character. Character. So I just was not a, uh, what's the word I want to say? I'm not a theater person. But the thing that I found unrealistic is when the director of the play tells you you're done, you're done. You don't get to start singing halfway through after you're done and be like, I'm going to sing, sing a song. This is why I don't sing. And I was like, okay, this is unrealistic. It's Disney. I know, but Disney, come on. You're supposed to be woke now. You're supposed to be real. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. They literally had a designing woman monologue. And that, Marjorie, <laughs> so you know, and your children know, is the night the lights went out in Georgia. So, so for those who don't know, uh, Better Nate Than Never is a, sh uh, I think it's a short story or it's a story. And it was converted into a movie. Um, the main premise is they find out that he, the lead actor, Nate, is not cast as Abraham Lincoln in his high school production. He was, he was not even cast as the dead son. He was cast as a tree and obsessed. He, obsessed. And then uh, finding out that his friend who has a crush on Nate uh, knows that there's open auditions for Lilo and Stitch in New York. So uh, I'm sorry, but last time I checked, I wouldn't want a big giant blue thing on me if I was being cast as Lilo in uh, or Stitch in Lilo and Stitch as my first Broadway show. But that's just me. It's Disney and God bless them. They have the rights to Lilo and Stitch because if they don't use it, they lose it. So they're trying to use as much Lilo and Stitch as possible before they lose that uh, copyright. Does so, that mean we're going to get a Lilo and Stitch musical on Broadway? I hope not. I hope so. Because that song sucked. Well, yes. <laughs> it would have better music. Let's hope so. Um, it could. I would be okay with that. Um, I found the best part was Lisa Kudrow. <laughs> she was great. <laughs> That's the, I, at half the time I was like, are you just playing like a drunk Herself. version of herself but a drunk version of herself because that's the whole time I was like you're drunk aren't you that's me now <laughs> and was anyone else getting gay vibes from the brother that's that's Olivia Rodrigo's ex-boyfriend that's where I know <laughs> full circle moment for those who did not listen to Thursday's uh, Entertainment Rundown, I'd highly recommend you go listen to the first half hour of it because we talk a lot about driver's license. Great. Um, Great. So, so, Michael, out of five, what would you give this beautiful movie? Four. Uh, well, mm, you won't let me do half, so four. Um, what was missing I, out of it? I mean, it just... It... <laughs> It wasn't gay enough for me. I'm going to be so real. Like, there's nothing personal. It's just, like, it just wasn't gay enough for me. Like, they basically went so far as to say this child was gay and have him say he was gay without actually saying it. True. I just, I needed, like, I needed it gayer. I'm going to give it a... Oh, Michael's ready for the negativity that's going to come I'm going to give it a two. I'm going to give it a four. I'm, bo I'm gooped. <laughs> I'm gooped. I liked the movie. I did not like him. All right. I was going to say, what's wrong with it? But the issue is the child. It's him. I like the character. I like the mom. I like the dad. I like the brother. I like the casting director, which I found was a subtle nod to prom. I was like, ah, it's prom. Well, he's, yeah, he's from the prom. Yeah. Um, and then the mom and dad are both Broadway people. Morbert Leo Butts, he was in the original run of Wicked. He also was in the original run of Catch Me If You Can on Broadway. Um, he was the FBI agent. He's the best part of the show. Okay. I did not know that. So that makes me like them even better. I like the brother. I like the, I like the friend. 
I loved, I loved Lisa. Her. I loved Lisa Kudrow. She was awesome. Um, I just didn't like the kid. I didn't like the kid, and that's what bothered me. Because and I'm not. It, he probably is a nice kid. I don't know him from a bat in a wall, but probably a nice kid. I just was not a fan. So the, I'm going to give it a four out of five. You're giving it a four and a half, but no, I'm giving. I would give it a three and a half, but oh, but I would do a four since I would give it. I would bump it up. You're bumping it up to four, so we're giving it eight out of ten on the night at the movies. So with that, that has been better Nate than never on the cross border interviews night of the movies with Chris Brown and Michael Nichols Pate. Have yourself an excellent day and we'll be back in the next episode soon.